Yo, what's going on guys? Wolfman here today and welcome to another GTA Online video. As this week's event week is not all fantastic. Uh, there's no car, new. well there's no new car. Apart from the Zion Classic being the new podium vehicle. We are going to be discussing a new topic on GTA Online. Um, the current one we've got is the normal life of a racer, which involves cars that you can buy that have liveries that you can remove and have as usual normal cars. We, in this new topic, are going to be discussing the classic GTA cars. Now, this is not the classic looking cars. This is cars that I'm talking about the ones that came out on DLCs on the old gen consoles so the Xbox 360 and the PS3 cars for example the Osiris any of the ones with the flight school DLC so the I can't remember the names but there's a lot of cars from the old gen that are pretty darn good most of them have got not recently but with going on to next gen uh, some of the older DLC cars got liveries, which we'll be going through as well. But today in this video, we are going to be discussing the T20, no, the Progen T20, um, being one at the time of the Xbox 360, being one of my personal favourites. <clears throat> now, it is based off of a McLaren, which I think most, which I think. Progen, <coughs> excuse me, Progen is the GTA version of McLaren. Now, the T20 for customizations, it's it's got a good amount of categories. I think because I'm doing this with no gameplay footage to watch, I want to say it's about 18 or 19 categories. There's not a lot in them, but it's a it's when it's back in the day when cars in GTA looked like normal cars. So it's got the standard front splitters, rear diffusers, spoilers, but it, for example this one hasn't got a spoiler because it has a raising spoiler for when you get it to a certain speed, which not many cars have nowadays. I mean you've got the Grotti Furia which has one, but that's really all I can think of, apart from the Neo, no, Neon? Nero, the Nero, um, not a lot of cars have raising spoilers when you get to a speed, so this is one, that's one reason why this car is pretty cool. Second reason is, it just looks amazing, because it's a standard car, and it looks like a car, you can make it you could put the like the most expensive customizations on and it would still look cool nowadays you buy the most expensive customizations you got skirts that come out like a meter apart of each side so it's like having wings on the side of the thing no this one t20 don't think it has any no i think it does i don't know but <clears throat> point is the T20 is a beautifully looking car. Performance, it holds its own. Trust me, it's right. I did this legitimately on a race with randoms. I chose the T20. I think it was two laps. It was a struggle because of the modern GTA cars that are out there now. It was a struggle keeping it but I won only barely in the T20 I think my main rival in that specific race was in an Emirates and a um, Devastate 8 which are both very top of the range cars when it comes to the stunt races and I only just managed to keep it there I was going full throttle, my heart was thumping, and everything was just going, win it, win it, win it, and 
I actually managed to, which I'm <clears throat> I'm actually kind of surprised that I managed to because of how old the car is. Like this was th this was back in 360 Xbox 360 and PS3 years when this car came out. So it just barely has it doesn't have really any advantages apart from the fact that it was slipstream and catch up. So if the catch up wasn't on, I no way you'd be able to win in a race with the T20 with catch up turned off. Not a chance in hell. Um but luckily it was on and I just managed to win. Um, performance on the road as a street race, like just as a casual driving car, is pretty good. The handling's alright. Um, it sounds beautiful. <coughs> um, and it's. It just fits in the city. Like, it's. Because, again, because of how it looks, it just looks beautiful. And. It's one of my favourite old gen cars in the game so far. And it's, again, one of them cars that I don't think many people use because of all the newer cars. But it's a bit of a collectible because it was the old gen vehicle. It was the top old gen car for everything. Like, everyone would be driving this thing. If you did a custom, if you did a race with custom vehicles, majority of people would be either using the T20 or the Osiris. Both of them are beautiful, lovely looking, both based on gorgeous looking cars, and it just looks phenomenal. So that's going to be the end of this one. Let me know in the comments below what your favorite old gen car is and only the cars that were on GTA Online before uh, next gen came out so the T20, the Osiris, <coughs> the Zentorno will be go going over the Zentorno no doubt about that um, and any of the others so we'll be going through the bikes as well basically all of my favorite personal vehicles from the old gen console we will be going through not just supers we're going to be looking at the sport classic the sports the muscle we're going to be doing them all any vehicle that i enjoyed and i'm pretty sure majority of the players would have enjoyed as well so that was the t20 beautiful looking beautiful sounding only barely holds its own in a race but the way it looks and the way it drives on the street in free roam, you ain't going to be disappointed. So leave a like if you enjoyed, if you enjoyed the T20. Leave a comment below of your favourite car or any other vehicles you'd want me to have a look at. Give my opinion on, let me know. And obviously don't forget to subscribe and click the notification bell to be notified on any new videos and updates that I produce onto the channel with my amazingness of ideas from you guys because most of my ideas will come from you and without you i don't really have any ideas so hit me with them comments go favorite car car you want me to test a question just say hi whatever go ahead and do it and if it's a question i will either answer it in a video or i will answer it to you directly in the comments below as a reply so comment like subscribe and i will see you in the next one